back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5, full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about a component called range. In many uh, modern web applications, you would have seen some UI controls where you can just drag and drop and the value changes horizontally, right? To adjust or also called steps. That's called a range basically. So Bootstrap also provides a component called range. Let's learn all about it in this episode. This is part 29 of the series. Make sure that you check out the entire full tutorial playlist. I'm covering about 40 plus tutorials in this particular playlist with live examples. The following is the index that I've covered so far. I've also done some live projects so you can practice that with me while live coding the grids and layout. So make sure you check out all of that. And in today's episode, we are learning about bootstrap range. Alright, so bootstrap range, um, important things to remember about range is to create a custom range, it's just nothing but input type equal to range. Okay, remember that it's an input type which is of um, equal to range. It will have a label. Okay, you can have different modes of it like disabled, you can provide min or max for it. Right, so let's go ahead and dis define this and see it in action. Okay, so I'm going to continue it um, in the same code base what we left in the last episode. So make sure that you're following it. So I'm going to create a div first and then um, I'm going to give a label, right? And this is the label. So you will def define for what it would be. We'll give a name in just a bit. So always remember bootstrap forms. Whenever you talk about a form field, it will always have a for and a label. Basically, it's a label. So here I'm going to say form label, right? This is the label that you will use. And here I'm going to say select, or I would say um, uh, budget, okay? Say, let's say I'm going to say the user should be able to select the budget. So here I'm going to say input type equal to range. And then you will give a class, you will give form. So that's the new one in Bootstrap. Okay. So then give an ID and say budget. And this ID is anything that you can give. It need not to be uh, the one. This is a custom one that I'm providing or I'm giving. Right. So that's simple as that. So you pro you define a DIV. You have a label for this range and an input type equal to range. And that's it. And you should be able to see the thing here okay so here you see you get the range here which you can drag right so this is how you can set if you have seen matrimony uh, websites you can select choose the age uh, from which age to which age you want the profiles to be and that is for both girls and boys so don't judge me on that all right uh, if you find that line funny please do let me know in the comment section all right uh, that being said, uh, there are different variations to it that you can add. Um, let me just put it here. Uh, bootstrap range. Okay. And then you copy this again. And now I'm going to show you some variations of it. So what you can do is we can put a thing and call disabled. That means once you user has selected you don't want the second selection or you want you don't want the user to edit again you can easily do that by just adding the tag disabled what it does is it will not be the user will not be able to make a move anymore on this or edit it so this is the regular component range here it is disabled now i'm going to add uh, min and max that's also available that means if you want some minimum maximum values that you want to provide to the range we can do that as well copy this same if you see the basic uh, thing remains same which is your label and then a form field which is input type equal to range right so those are the basic things so let's go ahead and give minimum and maximum also after disabled and now we don't want it disabled right so you can say min okay equal to say 5 and max okay okay so let's uh, i'll continue building on the example we were talking so minimum age i think it's 21 um the eligible marriage eligible age so minimum is 21 
maximum i leave it up to you what you want to fill uh, i let's say 30 right okay this is getting funny all right so um, min and max all right so we have added now minimum value and maximum value so now your our range should be between those two let's refresh scroll down so these are the min this is the minimum value and the maximum is uh, maximum is the value that we provided okay so we can do some hacking around like whenever you move um, what should be the value etc but i will get to that in just a bit all right so what did we learn we learned about how to use the component which is range and it's nothing but just a label and input type equal to range okay and then you can add disable to it okay which means um, that this is where we will add disabled and it will be disabled we can add minimum and maximum okay so now let's go to get bootstrap and see more options of what we can do with range and i always tell this to everybody don't try to um, get into too much uh, of details start with documentation that's the best place it's the one of the best documentation available out there all right so these are all um, things that are available so min max you can see here example min max you have steps right so the increments will be in steps right and you can see here uh, let's check out an example and we'll see if they have anything more than what they are given here uh, no I don't think so okay so they are also using the basic example but that's okay we have seen those things all right so go ahead uh, give it a try to budget um, uh, budget <laughs> bootstrap range and do let me know um, uh, if you have any doubts or queries I hope it's clear um, uh, the examples that we saw today uh, drop it in your comment section if you have any and I can discuss it further in the comment section alrighty uh, so that ends uh, today's topic pretty simple straightforward topic today not much complicated so go ahead give it a try in the next episode I'm going to talk to you about um, important component called bootstrap figure um, extremely useful semantic uh, when you're doing uh, coding at a large enterprise they especially insist that you have these uh, standard practices used right um, so I'm going to talk to you about that in the next uh, episode so, so stay tuned for that if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash rtutorials thank you so much see you in the next episode